What's up, everyone? So today we will be talking about the best Anki decks for step one. And I know this is very, very uh, important, so let's get straight into it. All right, so here it is, the presentation. I'm going to go ahead and just start. I will tell you, I'm only going to be talking about two big decks because I think there have been so many changes in the Anki world with the Anki decks. Uh, but I'm going to talk about two main decks. But if you download these two decks, you will be set. And I mean set. So just make sure you understand that. Don't download too many things uh, because that will be overwhelming. Uh, so disclaimers before I start. Um, these are all, this is all my opinion. None, none of this is based on, you know, oh my god, we did a retrospective study and here's what the results were. This is all just purely from me and I've been doing this for almost four years now and I think I kind of know what works and what doesn't work. Um, I want to give a shout out to the Onking team. They have a great YouTube channel. Definitely check them out. I'll link them below. But they were one of the big contributors to the Anki revolution, as I like to talk about it. And they're also one of the big uh, contributors to the big decks that I'm going to show you. Uh, and then I'm also going to tell you that everything I'm going to share with you is based off of the content of step one. So these decks are not necessarily going to be best for your learning in your medical school because you're going to realize medical school learning and step one learning sometimes very different sometimes very mutually exclusive right so i'm basing this off of what decks are going to be the best for you when you're studying for step one so there's actually two main decks the first one is the onking overhaul and i'm going to show you how to download both of these, these decks shortly right after the slide so just hang, hang on so the first deck is the onking overhaul deck so what the onking team did is they took a lot of the decks that were already out there there were a lot of decks out there and they combine all of them into one so it's a nice all-you-can-eat pancake basically so they have the original zonki deck and zonki was the og game player of anki zonki is basically all the pathophysiology all the physiology of every organ system and then they also added in a couple other decks and these are the two main relevant ones that i think are important they added in pepper uh, and I think they also added in another aspect of Pepper, and both of the Pepper decks talk about microbiology, and the other one talks about pharmacology. So if you think about step one, step one is pretty much pathophysiology and physiology of every organ system, and then it's microbiology, a lot of microbiology, and then a lot of pharmacology, and then a little bit of biostats sprinkled on top, right? And it sounds simple, but it's a lot. Uh, and so these three decks, I think, really hit the ball in terms of hitting all of those three main things. This Onking deck also has multiple other decks. I think it includes parts of Lightyear, which I'm not going to mention. It also includes parts of LOL Not a Cop, which I'm not going to mention. But the point is this Onking deck has everything. But of this Onking deck, the three parts I like the most are the original Zonky deck, the Pepper deck, and this other Pepper deck. The other deck I used a lot when I was studying for step one is the Duke deck. That is a really good deck, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, so I'm going to go into detail for both of these decks, but first let me show you how to download them. Just open up your browser, type in r slash medical school Anki. <laughs> That's how big this is. It has its own subreddit. Go to this page, and when you go to this page, you're going to see this website. And what I'm going to tell you to do is actually go ahead and download, go to click here. That's the Zonki link right here. You see that? Zonki plus LOL Anki overhaul. Um, and now you'll see that there's a bunch of uploads and they also have videos on how to utilize them. But the point being, how can you download this deck? Well, the deck download is right here, download link. So you click on that and it will actually go ahead and download the link for you. I'm not going to do it because it's a very, very big deck. The other deck I want you to download, if you go back to this original page, is the Duke deck. So it's right here. This deck is actually all about Pathoma and Pathoma is like the godsend resource for pathophysiology. And so if you click on this, you'll be able to download the Duke uh, Duke Duke deck link and that's right over here right so download both of these and they'll get imported into your Anki and now I'm going to show you how they both work okay so here is the Anking deck once you've downloaded it open it up in your Anki and then click the browse button and you'll be able to go through it so what I'm going to do is now show you how to use this deck but it's really overwhelming because you'll see that there's 28,000 cards and yours may even have more because this um, this is an older version of the deck. I don't suggest you go this route. What I suggest you use in terms of the Onking deck is to pull things out of the Onking deck and make your own deck. What do I mean by this? Usually when you're studying for step one, you'll usually have something you're going off of. So let's say you're going through first aid and you're on the biochemistry chapter and you're like, damn, I just want to find all the cards related to biochem. Well, what you can do, because this Onking deck is so well organized, you can actually go down and you'll see that these things pretty much are the hashtags are actually broken down by tags of 
first aid. So you'll see that in this, it says first aid basic biochem, and then it goes to genetics. And within genetics, it even mentions uh, trisomies, right? So there's all these different breaking downs. But let's say you wanted to know about biochem and you wanted to know all the lab techniques. Well, you can literally go down this list and starting with this one, and you can just start with blotting. And then you'd be like, okay, I'm going to take all these cards about blotting. I'm going to put them into my own deck. So what I do is press Apple A, then that selects all those cards, and then I press Apple D, which then allows you to move them to another deck. And at that point, I usually move them to another deck, and I'll call it, I don't know, like my deck, and then I'll break it down. Uh, I'll do my underscore deck. And then I know that these cards are specifically about biochem, right? So I'm going to make my deck into biochem. And specifically, it's not just about biochem, it's also about blotting. So I move these cards from the Onking deck into my deck. And what that allows me to do is have a nice little organization of things that I know that, okay, this is in the Onking deck, and this is now something that I want to learn, so I'm going to bring it in, right? And so that way you're kind of creating and filtering your own deck. And so now watch what happens. So I've moved this. And now if you actually go back to the main screen, you'll see that I moved those cards from the Onking deck into my deck. And let's just see if I can show you. So look, this brand new deck was made, and this deck was my deck, Biochem Blotting, and I moved all those cards from the Onking section of blotting into my deck of blotting. So that's kind of how I did step one studying. As I covered a concept, I found that concept in the tags, I selected all those cards, and I dragged them in over into my deck, where I actually had its own specific organization. And the reason I brought them over again is to make it easier for me to know, okay, what have I covered and what have I not covered? Because the Onking deck has everything. And it's really overwhelming for you to be like, oh my God, that's just everything. I have to know that. But it's much easier if as you're doing the questions and you're like, oh, I don't know about blotting. Let me go find the cards related to blotting and let me drag them over. And that's kind of how I use the Onking deck. Again, this doesn't just apply to first aid. Let's say you watched a sketchy video, and let's say it was about like Neisseria meningitidis. Well, you'll see that if you go down in the tags, they've also broken things down by the tags of sketchy micro. And within sketchy micro, you can now go to gram negatives, and within the gram negatives, you can find Neisseria meningitidis, and you'll see all the cards that the Onking deck has about Neisseria meningitidis. And these are all pulled from that sketch, right? Some of them even have the picture of the sketch. I'm going to blur some of this out because it's all copyright, but the point being, um, these cards have everything you need. And so again, what I do is, let's say I just went over the sketch, I'd say, oh my god, this is fantastic. These are all the cards I want to know because I just went over Neisseria Meningitis. So I'd press Control A, I'd press Control D, and then move it over to my deck, right? What is it? My deck? Is that what we called it? My underscore deck? And this time, I don't want to call it under Biochem. What I want to do is I want to add a deck and I'm going to call it micro. And within micro, I'm going to say Neisseria men and Neisseria men and Jesus. I don't even know how to spell that. I don't care. Right. And so I'd move that over to this deck. And by doing that, again, now you'll see my, my main deck now has the biochem cards we started with earlier, but also these cards from Neisseria meningitidis, right? And so that's kind of how I was studying in step one, and that's how I'm studying for step two. As I cover a concept, I move things over from a main master deck, which in this case is the Onking deck, into my deck. And that's how I use it, and I particularly think that's really useful because it allows me to give specificity over what's useful for me to know. And now the last deck I want to talk to is the Pathoma deck, which is also called the Duke deck. And the reason why I like this deck is because unlike Zonki and Onking deck, this deck is actually much smaller and still covers pretty much all of Pathoma. And more importantly, it actually gives many more detailed flashcards. So the flashcards are longer, they take longer to get through, but as a consequence, there's many fewer flashcards that you have to go through to understand the concept. And obviously, because it's called Pathoma, this deck is also really useful because it's based entirely off of Pathoma chapters. So you'll see that it's actually it's, it's tagged by the chapter. So you'll see that it says Duke 1 Cells, and so now if we go to the Duke tags, you go all the way down here, you'll see that these are the Duke tags. And each one is basically a chapter of Pathoma. So Pathoma chapter 4 is about hemostasis, and the Duke Pathoma deck talks about hemostasis. And the reason why I really like this deck, again, is because it's much longer, but you'll see that it actually also means that you learn concepts much more cohesively. So in the Onking deck, each of these steps may have been its own uh, card. But in the Pathoma deck, it brings everything together and forces you to like, think about the whole process as a whole. So even though the card takes longer to get through, 
it actually is much more useful for bringing things together. That's why I like this deck, and it complements really well with the Onking deck, and I highly recommend synthesizing both of them, right? So as I went through Pathoma, I pretty much pulled all these cards, and it was fantastic because one chapter of Pathoma was only like 89 cards, and that's huge. To, I could do 89 cards in my sleep, right? And so to do a whole chapter of Pathoma and to only have 89 cards to review, that was really nice. And that's why I really like this deck. Um, and you'll see, again, the questions sometimes are pretty simple, but sometimes they can actually be a bit more complicated. Um, and so I highly recommend this deck. And again, let's say you finish chapter four of Pathoma, the next thing you would do is drag all those cards. I would move them to my deck, my underscore deck. And of course, what you would then do is create your own Pathoma, right? So I'd say my deck, and I'd say Pathoma, and then I'd say chapter four, hemostasis. And I drag them all over to my deck. So now I know I've covered uh, chapter four, hemostasis of Pathoma. All right, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, because this is kind of how I kind of always do my stuff. And these are the two main decks that will 100% help you for step one. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. If you want more videos like this, if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.